Hey guys, so I just wanted to take a couple minutes and make a quick video about some of the questions that I've been getting the last probably couple weeks or so. Uh, kind of like where I've been and what I've been doing. Also, I kind of want to announce some things that I'm going to be doing moving forward. So I apologize for my loud bracelets. First, kind of, I've been getting a lot of questions like, where have I been? What have I been doing? How come I haven't been posting? I haven't been posting for a couple of reasons. One, I did go through kind of a creative rut. Um, no excuse, it's just, it happens to every creative where they kind of just fall out of this um, groove and they don't post or something. Like they kind of just step away for a little bit. It, it kind of refreshes the mind. So that was initially what was part of it. I never kind of fell back in that groove. I'm still kind of in that loop right now. So the last couple of weeks I've been really just super low key and to be honest with you guys that big rig back there is my pc that i built last year and i'm sure everyone here has heard of fortnite i just been like masking on it like crazy i've gotten pretty pretty decent at it i started streaming so you can find me on twitch i'll post that link in the description below but before you guys go ahead and do that uh, i have a couple more announcements to make so may 2nd was my birthday uh, i turned 27 Hey, Amy took me on a helicopter ride around Portland downtown and kind of went around Forest Park up to the Beaverton Nike campus area and I took a couple of shots and I took some video too. The helicopter ride itself was absolutely incredible. It was it was a, such a beautiful day and I couldn't have asked for a better present. Honestly, I told her that I didn't want to do anything crazy. I kind of wanted, honestly, I wasn't expecting anything at all, but of course she surprised me and she knew that it, you know, to kind of help. Um, sparked the motivation to do for more photography and videos and stuff like that and it was amazing. After that, Amy and I went to Waco, Texas. Those of you who watched the Fixer Upper, Chip and Joe, um, they put on a 5K, a half marathon, and a full marathon. The first one ever and Amy wanted to run in it because, well, she loves to show and Chip and Joe and their family. So she did the half marathon and I went with her to support her obviously and I took my camera with me to take some photos and videos. Bob! Woo! Good job, Bobs! Good job, baby. How do you feel? Good job, baby. You did it! <laughs> Say this to your mother. Okay, I love you too. Catch your breath. I'm there. The whole experience was awesome. Waco was pretty cool. We flew in Dallas-Fort Worth and we drove down to Waco, which is about an hour and a half, and we stayed at a hotel and roamed around the city. Of course, went to Magnolia Park, went to the restaurant, which we stood in line for an hour, or, I'm sorry, for two hours to put our names on a wait list to wait two more hours. Bruh. But we got in there and we got to eat their amazing food and it was great. So overall, fun experience, even it was just a short trip. Amy ran the half marathon, which I could never do. So kudos to her for doing that. It was a blast. Now that I've been back, like I said, I've just been laying low, but probably the main thing and the main reason why I wanted to make this video is to kind of let you guys know. As I'm recording this today is Wednesday, May 22nd and this Friday, so two days from now, I'm going to be leaving for an extended period of time. Um, my mother and I are planning to go to Guam. Um, for those of you who may not know, I'm half Pacific Islander. My mom is from there. She has 15 brothers and sisters, a massive family. We're gonna go from Portland to Honolulu, staying there for a night with some family, and then from Honolulu over to Guam. I will be there for about a week or two, um, seeing my family. It's, it's gonna be crazy, because I haven't been over there in so long. From Guam, we're gonna go to Tokyo, Japan, and we're gonna explore there for about a week. The plan is, and it's very tentative still, um, we haven't bought the tickets yet, but ideally we like to spend some time in Tokyo and then fly from Tokyo to Kyoto, Japan. I really wanna just really dive and immerse myself into the culture, so I'm super excited for that. After a couple days in Kyoto, we're gonna fly back to Tokyo, and then from there, depending on the time frame, my mom might have to fly back to the States. I'll be flying hopefully from Tokyo to Bali. And Bali's been on the bucket list of mine for a very long time. I'm sure everyone who probably has an Instagram account have seen like insane pictures from there. I'm super excited for that. Guam is for sure and Tokyo is for sure. So 
Kyoto and Bali are still pretty tentative. As I'm going, and obviously when I'm gone, I'm going to bring my camera with me and going to be documenting everything. I'm going to be taking pictures. I'm going to try to do a lot of video as well, even if it's just short videos, just to kind of give you guys an idea of, you know, a lot of people have never really been to Guam. Some people have never even heard of Guam. Some people only know of Guam because of the whole like bombing thing between Trump. It's been probably gone for about a month, maybe a month and a half or so. So we'll kind of see, just fully immerse myself in all that stuff. Anyway guys, that's it for me. Uh, I gotta start packing. I leave in two days and I haven't done anything yet, but I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope for those of you who had those questions that I answered them. Um, and yeah, if you have any other questions or concerns about the places that I'll be going or what I'll be doing, feel free to comment below or send me an email, whatever works for you. And I will see you guys next time.